Five important traits you need to know about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Of course, there are a lot of role models out there, but there can be no better person other than our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Number one, inclusivity. The one thing that unites the ummah is their faith. Thus, the Prophet ﷺ did not exclude any of his companions regardless of their background. One of the examples was during the Battle of Badr, where he asked the opinions of both the Muhajirin and Al-Ansar in making a decisive decision whether to proceed or not. It has also already been shown how he mixed with everyone on equal terms, how he ate with slaves, servants and the poorest on the same sheet. This should teach us that no matter what our background is, we should include everyone in our list. And this should also be extended to the non-Muslims, especially living in a multicultural society, a multi-religious society, such as in Singapore. Number two, resilience. The Prophet ﷺ was faced with many challenges throughout his life, even before he became a prophet. His father passed away before he was born. He lost his mother at a very young age. Then, his beloved uncle and grandfather passed away too few years after. As a child, that may be a traumatic experience for most of us, but not for him. When he became a prophet, he was faced with rejections, not only verbally, but physically as well, from his own family members and the people of Mecca. People from various directions tried to kill him. He was called a sahir, a magician, and also he was called as a crazy man. Despite all of that, he did not crumble. He showed utmost resilience when he continued to preach Islam as he knew Allah was with him throughout his prophetic journey. Number three, forgiving. Aisha radiallahu anha said that the Prophet did not take revenge for himself unless the sacred limits of Allah were violated for then he would retaliate for the sake of Allah. We all know what the people of Mecca did to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in his early years as a Prophet. He was mocked, he was being called a liar, a crazy man, magician and whatever not. However, when the Muslims succeeded in claiming the lands of Mecca, the Prophet shook hands with some of the people and he forgave them. Just imagine how hard it would be for us to forgive a group of people who had been your enemies for the longest of time. And due to that, several people embraced Islam. We can see from here the power of forgiving someone even if you are not in the wrong. It certainly does not degrade you as a person, it does not affect your status, on the contrary, it raises your value just as how we see the Prophet did it. Number 4. Kindness Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran in Surah Ali Imran verse number 159 Which means, and by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you dealt with them gently. And had you, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa been severe and harsh-hearted towards them, they would have broken away from you. So we can see from here that the Prophet's kindness was exceptional. There are many ahadith that show the Prophet's kindness especially to the weak and the poor. Anas, who was his helper, said, I served Allah's Messenger for 10 years and he never said to me, shame, or why did you do such a thing, or why did you not do such a thing. Number 5. Truthful and Honesty The Prophet wasallam was the most truthful person during his times and there will be no other man after him who can reach his level of honesty. He was known as As-Sadiqul Amin even before he became a Prophet. There was one incident where the Prophet Muhammad wasallam asked the companions, If I say that there is a swarm of enemy coming towards us behind the hill, will you all believe me? And what did the companions say? They said yes, without any hesitation. So we can see the impact of being honest in our living. People will trust us easily and people will not take us lightly. So with that, I will end my sharing and I hope that we all can emulate our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to become a better Muslim and also to become a better human being in this world and in the hereafter, inshallah. Before I end, I hope that this video has benefited you. And if it has, please don't forget to like and share this video so that others can benefit from this as well. And don't forget to follow Sira Jordan and stay tuned for other series of or other videos in this Ilm Wal Al Amal series. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.